Well, two people are under arrest this morning, charged in connection with a deadly drug incident at a Bronx daycare center. Apparent exposure to opioids left one child dead and three others hospitalized. And CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from outside the precinct in Norwood with the very latest this morning. Christina. Doug and Natalie, one of the suspects being held here is the owner of the daycare who was tasked with looking after and caring for these children. She, as well as another man connected to the facility, are expected to be walked out of the precinct sometime this morning to be booked on 28 counts each. The parents of one year old Nicholas Dominici grappling with the unimaginable loss of their son, trying to make sense of how their baby boy died in a place they trusted was safe. His father telling us in Spanish, the hardest thing for me is to come home, open that door, and not see Nicholas saying, Dad. It is too hard. We can't because of the irresponsibility of people that don't know playing with drugs and leaving them where kids can reach them is too dangerous. Police arrested and charged two people overnight in connection to the death of Nicholas and the suspected opioid exposure of three other children at Divino Nino Daycare in the Bronx. 36-year-old Gray Mendez, the owner of the facility, and 41-year-old Carlisto Acevedo Brito are accused of murder, manslaughter, assault, and various drug charges. It is a real wake-up call for individuals who have opioids or fentanyl in their homes. First responders were summoned to the daycare Friday afternoon for reports of cardiac arrest. Inside, they found several young children unresponsive and showing signs of opioid exposure. Narcan was used, but one year old Nicholas did not survive. Community. His father telling us the Kingsbridge Heights Community Center recommended the daycare. He says that apartment was only supposed to be a daycare, but it was rumored to also have rented rooms. Officials say the daycare opened back in January and passed all inspections, including a surprise visit earlier this September. But on Friday, investigators found equipment used to package large amounts of drugs. Nicholas's grieving mother telling us, look what happened. If I would have known, I wouldn't have taken him. And the medical examiner's office says Nicholas's exact cause of death is still pending. Again, three other kids remain hospitalized this morning, including one who is in critical condition. Reporting live from the Norwood section of the Bronx, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Oh, I can't even imagine Christina Fan live for us in Norwood. Thank you.